We now come to scaling, which is the last step before running our regression model. With scaling, what we want to do is we want to put all of these arbitrary MRI signal units for each subject and for each run onto the same scale. So we can actually do comparisons across runs and across subjects. The way that AFNI does this, and it's similar to other programs like SPM and FSL, is it scales out everything relative to the mean. So it makes the mean across each run 100, and then it scales everything based off of that. So first of all, it calls upon 3D keystat, which the default is just to calculate the mean. So it calculates the mean of all these blurred data sets that we had in a couple steps ago, and then creates this rm.mean. Okay. Anything with an RM, by the way, in these processing streams, so th those are things just for intermediate steps and they're cleaned up afterwards. And then 3D calc, what it's going to do here, it assigns a variable to A, that's our blur data set, and B is this mean data set. And this expression here actually does the mathematics, and it's going to scale everything to a mean of 100. So if you get a value of 105, then that's a distance of 5 away from 100. So about a 5% change. And then these are just to make sure that anything that was non-zero in those data sets we entered in will remain non-zero, but anything that was negative will be zeroed out. Okay, then it outputs this run.scale. So in this up above here, I'm going to put our blur data set, move the overlay, put the graph back up. So here's what it looked like. And down here, I'm going to put our underlay as this scale data set. See what that looks like. Okay, this looks pretty horrendous, but the idea is now everything's scaled, so everything looks more or less the same. Right? So if you actually look at the values for this, this is going to get pretty messy. I'm going to close these graphs in just a second, but notice that they're the same, but their values are slightly different. Okay, so this is from the scale data set, this is from the blur data set. I'm going to zoom in here. Over here you can see that the value hovers right around 100. It's because we scaled everything to 100. It goes to like 101, sometimes it goes down to 99 or so. Over here, these are the arbitrary signal units of, you know, in the thousands. So all we've done here is we've scaled it so that anybody else who has arbitrary signal units around, say, 900 or 1700 or something vastly different from this person, we can put it all on the same scale. That's the idea behind it, and don't worry if this scaled image looks extremely uniform and kind of noisy. It's just because everything is now essentially almost the same. There's very little deviation.